Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again. Now we are going to discuss a topic called Variable Geometry Nozzles. Variable Area Nozzle or Adjustable Nozzles are required for matched operations under all operating conditions. Three types of Variable Area Nozzles are Central Plug at Nozzle Outlet and Ejector Type and final one is Iris Nozzle. The Central Plug is very similar to the spike of an intake. Unlike intake, the central plug causes external expansion fan so here we can see a central plug which is installed at the exit of the nozzle where this air plug will provide you with an expansion fan shock so here we can see an expansion fan because of this there will be variations in pressures from exit to the starting of the exit then ejector type nozzles ejector type nozzles create an effective nozzle through a secondary airflow at subsonic speeds the airflow constricts the exhaust to convergent shape as the speed increases the two nozzles dilate and the two nozzles form a convergent divergent shape some configurations may also have territory airflow that is third apart from primary and secondary will be having a steritary flow in ejector type nozzles sr71 congrol f111 have used this types of nozzles so here we can see the primary flow and secondary flow engine core flow will be considered as primary flow the air flow from the other sources will be considered as secondary flow here we will be having primary nozzle and then secondary nozzle so here we will be having actuating surfaces over here these surfaces can be actuated in a particular direction uh, so that we will be able to move to high Mach number to low Mach number low Mach number to high Mach number with the help of these actuating types of nozzles here we can see territory flow so here if we are having any other opens openings in a nozzle then the air will enter from that particular side so that we will be having a primary flow a secondary flow and a territory flow so that we will be having higher amount of mass flow rates so here actuating these control surfaces to a particular angle will provide you with high Mach numbers and actuating down will provide you with low Mach numbers iris nozzles these this will use overlapping adjustable petals more complicated than the ejector type nozzles this offers significantly higher performance these are used in advanced military aircrafts some of the modern aircrafts are also have iris nozzles that can be deflected to achieve vectored thrust so here we can see iris nozzles so here we will be using petals here we will be using petals for variable nozzles so here these are the petals which can be actuated in whichever the direction we want so that the thrust vectoring is becoming simple but the geometry is very complex so here we are not going to use these type of nozzles in ordinary aircraft with this we will be winding up the video if you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe.